Some of the best types of word problems out there are the ones that involve quadratic equations. This is because there's a variety of ways that we can actually attack that quadratic equation and come up with a solution. We're going to look at one in this video and see how we can use our factoring techniques to actually figure out uh, what the answer is. So the word problem I've cooked up is this. We're looking to make an open top box uh, by cutting four centimeter squares out of each corner and then folding up the remaining sides. The cardboard that we'll be using is twice as long as it is wide. Now the volume of this box we want to be 96 centimeters cubed. Our goal is to find the original dimensions of the cardboard. Now in looking through the problem it's probably not obvious uh, why this actually creates a quadratic equation. But let's go ahead and, and draw a diagram and really get into the uh, nuts and bolts of this and you'll see where that quadratic is and how factoring will really help out. So the very first thing that I want to do is actually just draw a diagram of the situation that way I can start wrapping my mind around it. So according to the original problem I have this cardboard piece that I'll be cutting some corners out of. Now what I know about this cardboard piece is that it is exactly twice as long as it is wide. Let's go ahead and let, go ahead and label the width w and since the length is twice as long, we'll label the length 2w. Now what we'll do to this cardboard is cut little 4 centimeter squares out of each of the corners. So there's a little 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters out of that one. There's some more 4 cent centimeters out of that one. 4, 4, 4. And 4, and 4. Perfect. Now, by cutting out those little 4 centimeter squares, we'll be able to fold this thing up into a box. A box will look something like this. So this part is open, and now we want to label the dimensions of this box. Now be very careful uh, in recognizing that the dimensions of this box are not the same as the cardboard. Here's why. This cardboard was originally, uh, say, 2W long. But we've gone along and taken out these 4 centimeter squares. In fact, I've taken two of those 4 centimeter squares out. So the length of this one is 2W minus two of those 4 squares, or 4 centimeter squares, or 8. 2W minus 8. That same thing happens with the width of our box. So it'll be the width minus a couple of those 4 centimeter squares or W minus 8. The height of this box will come directly from those squares, so 4. Perfect. Well, now that we have the dimensions of what this box looks like, uh, we can start using the fact that we want the volume to be 96 to connect it all together. So the volume, 96, comes from the length times the width times the height of this box. So 2w minus 8 times w minus 8 times 4. Awesome. Now as you can see, this will actually create a quadratic because both my w's will multiply together, giving me a w squared. Watch for that to, to happen along the way. Alright, let's work to combine um, much of this together. So first I'll foil this out, 2w times w. You mean with a 2w squared, we'll do our outside terms, minus 16w, inside terms, minus 8w, and the last terms, plus 64, all of this multiplied by 4. Awesome, looks good. Alright, let's keep going. Let's go ahead and combine the 16 and the 8. So 2w squared minus 24w plus 64 times 4. Alright, now let's go ahead and distribute our 4 into the parentheses. So 8w squared minus 4 times 24 is a 96w and 4 times 64 256. Alright, finally let's go ahead and subtract a 96 from both sides that way we can get a zero on one side of our quadratic. 
Now the only thing that we'll really be able to subtract 96 from is this 256. It's the only like term in there. So 256 minus 96, 160. Awesome. So this is our quadratic that we're now trying to solve. Some of the numbers in here are kind of large, uh, but it looks like I can divide everything by 8 to make them a little bit smaller and make my job easier. So 8 divided by 1, I mean 8 divided by 8 is 1, so there's our w squared. Uh, 96 divided by 8 is 12, and 160 divided by 8 is 20. Perfect. So to solve this, all I have to do is factor the remaining quadratic, and then set both of the factors equal to 0. Hmm, alright, not too bad. Looks like both my beginning terms need to be a w, since they'll multiply and give me a w squared. And then two numbers that will multiply to be 20 and add to be negative 12. Well, that must be a negative 2 and a minus 10. Perfect. So 0 equals w minus 2, and 0 equals w minus 10. So I can add 2 to both sides over here. 2 equals w, and I can add 10 over here. Awesome. So it looks like the uh, w, or in this case, the width of my cardboard, must either be 2 or must be 10. Now we must make sure that this fits in the context of the original problem. And actually, one of these is just not going to work out very well at all. To see this, go all the way back and remember what that piece of cardboard looks like. So this will be w, and this will be 2w. We're looking to cut four inch squares, or four centimeter squares, out of each side. Now, if the width of my cardboard is only two centimeters, then I won't have enough cardboard to cut uh, a total of eight centimeters away from it. So there's no way that I could have a width of two centimeters. It's just not enough cardboard. However, if I have ten centimeters for the width, then I have plenty of cardboard to cut a couple of four inch squares out of it. Same thing if I use 10 for my W over here, this would make an entire length of 20, and I'd have plenty of room to cut out uh, a couple of four inch squares. So I know that my width is 10 centimeters. Since my length is exactly twice as much, it must be 20 centimeters, just like that. Now one quick thing that you probably want to do is double check that the volume of the box we created actually um, turns out to be 96. So the volume is created by taking the length, the width, and the height of the box once it's folded up. So the length of this box will be 20 minus a couple of those 4 inch squares, so 20 minus 8, or 12. The width of the box comes from the width of the cardboard minus a couple of those uh, 8 inch squares, so 10 minus 8 is 2. Then we can multiply by the height of our open top box, 4. So 24 times 4, and sure enough that's 96, exactly what the problem says it should be. So we know that this is our width and our length of the original piece of cardboard. 